Hi, this is Maria from SAS, and in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to navigate the SAS calendar. Now, the SAS calendar is specifically linked to a path in your script that would be calling for an appointment. So, if you have an appointment path already built into your script, great, we can continue with the tutorial. If you don't, but you'd like to utilize the SAS calendar, give customer support a call and they'd be more than happy to help you with that. Keep in mind that SAS calendar has nothing to do with or is not associated with any third-party calendars such as Google. So if you have an appointment setting path built into your script that utilizes Google Calendar, this tutorial will not apply. So let's go check out our location settings and we can see when the operators are able to schedule appointments for us. We'll click on locations from the menu on the left and then I'm going to click on the edit icon to the far right of the location that I'd like to view. In this case, I'm viewing the location Annie. That's because in the script, this specific location is assigned to the path calling for an appointment. And that means that the settings for Annie's location are the ones that will apply to any appointments that we're going to set. So I'm going to click on the edit icon to the far right here. And then I'm going to scroll down in the location information and I'm going to view the business hour settings and the time settings. These are the particular settings that apply to any appointments that we would like the operators to book for you. So the time zone here we have is set to Eastern, and then you can see the open hours, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We have those days checked off with various hours. Those are times that the operators are able to book appointments for you. Any lunch hours that are checked off denotes times when we cannot book an appointment for you. Now you can see that under the open hours, Monday, Saturday, and Sunday are not checked. That means that those are after hours and the operators will not be able to schedule any appointments for you then. And if you check out the lunch hours, you'll see that on Thursday, there is nothing checked. That means that the operators can schedule appointments on Thursday from nine to three with no pause in between. Now the time settings, the limitation, the frequency, and the earliest appointment also apply to your calendar. The limitation denotes the number of appointments that we can schedule for you on any given day. So on any day, the maximum number of appointments we can schedule for you in this case is five. The frequency here is every hour in this particular case, but you can see there's a lot of options to choose from here. Every 15 minutes, every 30 minutes, every 90 minutes, etc. The earliest appointment means what day can we schedule the appointment for you? Can we schedule it same day? Can we schedule next day after two days or after three days? So you have a couple of choices there to choose from so that if you don't want appointments scheduled on the same day that the caller calls, you would want to select next day after two or after three days. Now that we've checked out our location settings, let's go look at the calendar. So we're going to click back on locations. And then next to Annie's location here, we're going to click on the green calendar button. So you can see January 2016, we have a few days here where we have appointments set. So appointment settings will show up in two lines in the calendar. The set appointment will show up on the first line and any canceled appointment will show up on the second line. So you can see here we have set one appointment for the 20th and none canceled. Now if you'd like to see who's booked on that day, just click on the particular date on the calendar. And then on the right hand side here, it will show you the schedule for that day. It will show you the time of the appointment as well as who is scheduled to meet with you. Now, if I click on this particular person, I can see the appointment details. So I'm going to click here. And if you see this at the top of the page, this means that you've actually scheduled the appointment yourself. So you went into your script and you scheduled the appointment. The operators did not receive a phone call. So that's why there's nothing here. There's no data, there's no call data, because it was not from a call. It was from something that you specifically did. So what we're going to do is go back to locations, go back to the calendar. So here we are again, and we had just checked out this particular appointment. Now, if you'd like to schedule an appointment for yourself, you can click on schedule here. So first we're going to click on the drop down and you're going to schedule the appointment for the proper campaign. Now, in this case, the appointment setting path is built into the campaign SAS. So you want to be sure to select the proper campaign before you go ahead and try to schedule an appointment. So clicking on SAS, we're going to click schedule. And we're gonna to have to go through your script just like the operator would. So here we are, hello and thank you for calling. Now, of course, no one's calling, we're setting our own appointment, but we still need to follow the script. So we're going to click on the drop down here to select the appointment path, calling for an appointment. And then we're going to click next. And then you'll wanna fill in the information for whoever the appointment is going to be for. So we'll make this for John Roberts. 
And then we need John's number. And then we'll click Next. And then the appointment calendar is going to pop up. So you can click on any day here. So let's click on the 28th. What time works best for you? You can see that these are the available times when we can schedule for this particular date. So let's schedule this appointment for 11 a.m. And then we're going to click Next. Now when you get to this final screen here, you're going to need to enter some sort of an ID. So this is going to be three letters and you can just use your initials in this case. We'll use mine. We'll save the call. Now once you save the call, this appointment is going to be listed in your calendar. F4, press F4 to end the call. This actually does not apply in this view. This is really only for the operators. So you can just click this X and close out the window. Now let's refresh this page. And now you can see that I have the appointment that I just set here on the 28th. So 11 a.m. John Roberts. And again, remember that any appointment you set for yourself will not include any call details. So let's click on John Roberts. And again, you'll see this message. There's no error. It just means that you set the appointment yourself. So that is really the quick overview of the SIS calendar. If you have any questions, get in touch with support. And if you don't have that calendar path already built into your script, we'd be happy to help you with that. So good luck using the SIS calendar.